I'm out in the woods. What's happening guys? Greg Hat, Menagerie Studio. In today's quick video, I'm gonna show you how to take your onboard audio. Let's say you're out and about, you don't have a lav mic, you don't have a boom mic, you're just working with what you got. I'm gonna show you how to make that audio totally usable in DaVinci Resolve. Whew, a little cozier in here. All right, let's take a look at the clip we're working with in DaVinci Resolve. I'm gonna show you how to take your onboard audio. Let's say you're out and about, you don't have a lav mic. So as you can tell, Totally raw onboard audio, it sounds like it. Uh, we can definitely clean this up though and make it uh, very usable. So first things first, we're gonna come down here and make sure our audio track is selected. And we're gonna start with this voice isolation tab up here. We're just gonna click the button and it's now on. It's at 100%. You can adjust the dial. I find that 100% is a little too much, but um, we'll bring it down to maybe 74, 75. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna show you how to take your onboard audio. Let's say you're out and about. You don't have a lav mic. You don't have a boom. I mean, come on. Da Vinci's freaking magic, man. It's it's crazy. It's, it's got to be using some AI technology that is way above my expertise, but I'll take it and I will use it. What we're going to do from here, though, to clean it up a little more is we're going to come over to the Fairlight audio tab. Don't be scared. We're just going to be dabbling in here a little bit. Come on over here to uh, where it says dynamics and we're going to double click on this little graph looking thing here. It's it's actually a compressor. And the two things we're going to be focusing on here is the threshold and the makeup. So the threshold is basically telling the compressor when to kick on, when to kind of compress the vocals down. So anything above negative 15 will then be affected by the compressor. And just take a listen. I'm gonna show you how to take your onboard audio. Let's say you're out and about, you don't have a lav mic. And you can see the gain reduction. This will kind of show you visually what your compressor is doing. So it's taking anything above 15 and kind of squashing it down. And what it's also doing is taking anything lower and kind of bringing it up. So it's, it's just squeezing it together a little bit to give you less dynamics in your audio, um, which is in this case what we want. So we will give us a little more maybe we'll try negative 19 or so just to get a little more gain reduction I'm gonna show you how to take your onboard audio let's say you're out and about you don't have a lav mic and a general rule of thumb I find is anything um, around negative six of gain reduction is normally pretty safe um, anything over that it can start getting really squashed um, so try to stay in that safe range just a good rule of thumb so then comes the makeup here and that's gonna basically give us some of our audio level back so when we were listening to it the gain reduction was around that negative six range so we'll give the makeup gain maybe four I'm gonna show you how to take your onboard audio let's say you're out and about you don't have a lav mic you don't have a boom all right, I think that sounded pretty good. A compressor is just a, a nice way to give your voice a little more confidence when it's coming out. So we're gonna move on here down to the EQ. So we're back over here. We're gonna double click on that EQ. And another thing that can look a little overwhelming at first, but we're gonna keep it nice and simple in this. And we're gonna stick to the presets up here and we can kind of adjust from there. So we're gonna start with just the male dialogue because I am a male last time I checked and um, so as you can see it, it kind of made some effects to our graph here and this is just a frequency spectrum essentially all the way from 0 to 20,000 um, kilohertz and so we'll, we'll give that a listen with just the the built-in plugin I'm gonna show you how to take your onboard audio let's say you're out and about you don't have a lav mic and again, the presets are not bad. It's, it's really getting us pretty close to where we wanna be. If you are working with onboard audio, you might wanna think about boosting some of the low to mid frequencies because the, the onboard audio really just captures the, the kind of upper mid range. So we'll take this little notch here and kind of just boost it up a little bit. As you can see on this side and this side of our graph, this is the decibel range. So we're boosting it around five decibels, which is pretty safe. It's wacky hour at the nut house. And we're gonna come to the high end and give it a little clarity. Let's give that a listen. 
I'm gonna show you how to take your onboard audio. Let's say you're out and about, you don't have a lav mic. As you can kind of hear, it's a little too harsh, uh, especially with the S's. Um, so a lot of times here, I recommend this with every piece of audio you use, if it's spoken word, apply a de-esser. You will be doing yourself and your audience a big favor. So we're gonna do that right now. So back over to our mixer here on the right, and we're gonna click on the little plus button, come down to restoration and de-esser. All right, here we are. And it applies one with these kind of default settings. Uh, you have up here some basic presets, but I like to kind of take this on a case by case basis and make a few adjustments down here. And if you pay attention to this reduction, that'll kind of show you how much of your audio is being affected. It'll let you know if, oh man, it's affecting the entire voice instead of just those S's, it'll kind of let you know. So let's give it a quick preview. I'm gonna show you how to take your onboard audio. Let's say you're out and about, you don't have a lav mic, you don't have a boom mic. I mean, and right away, the default is working really well for us. We can go in and kind of fine tune it a little bit if we want to. I will just bring this notch a little closer to the high end and a little further down to get a little more reduction. And we'll give this a fast reaction time so it kind of catches those sibilances, those, those S's right away and squashes them a little bit. I'm gonna show you how to take your onboard audio. Let's say you're out and about, you don't have a lav mic. So I think for what, five minutes of tinkering around? I think that sounds pretty dang good. And you could probably even get away with just that voice isolator that we use at the top of the video. But let's take it back, let's strip all the effects off and hear the before and the after. I'm gonna show you how to take your onboard audio. Let's say you're out and about, you don't have a lav mic. Sounds great, but here's the after. I'm gonna show you how to take your onboard audio. Let's say you're out and about, you don't have a lav mic, you don't have a boom mic. All right, guys, I hope that was helpful. That is enough of staring at my ugly mug for one afternoon, so I'm gonna get on out of here. If you did find it helpful, the best way to help us out is by giving the video a like, subscribing if you wanna see more content like this, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next video.